Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to Arrested Development Season 5, Episode 14. Yeah, wow, 14. Two episodes left after this, you guys, to the series finale. So, yeah, I'm almost there, wow. Alright, before we get into this though, please do not forget to go check Arrested De Not- <laughs> oh, mm, Guys, <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Brain. Fart. Mm, okay, so go check out Patreon, not Arrested Development. You're already watching Arrested Development, but you can go to Patreon if you want to watch more Arrested Development ahead right now. You can watch the next two, last two episodes of the series right now on Patreon if you go. If you're watching this on YouTube, go to Patreon. It's there, and it's very exciting. I can't wait for it. Um, But you guys can go watch it now, so you'll technically be ahead of me right now. Well, filming, if you go right now. Also, you get Patreon-exclusive shows like Attack on Titan, Pox and Rack, Battle Call Saul, Battlestar Galactica, and even more that are just on Patreon, not on YouTube. So go check that out, okay? Alright, thank you guys for watching, and without further ado, here we go. Very disappointed with these swimsuits. That's right. Oh, so, okay, we're back to this. Oh, God. Ew. Get that off your face, you horse's ass. Oh, damn. Hell shows up in the middle. Guess who? Mimi. Oh. Mom. I love her. She's the best the actress. Um, She's from the show Max. Oh, I can't think of it right now. Hacks. That's what she's from. And I love her. This is your grandmother. Wow, we meet the grandma. What are you doing here, Mom? Well, I wasn't going to miss the last summer at the beach house with my gorgeous family. Last Yeah, what is last no. summer? You're so no, I, I meant I did. I missed this. Last summer. And I uh, want to be with you. And someone's got a big birthday. So this is about to explain a lot about the mom, isn't it? Michael is too, because they're twins. Yeah. <laughs> of course you are. I'm what Joe. was that? Why did you name him that? <laughs> I haven't seen you in five. No, please, you were never little. Oh, to him. Your mother was never little. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh, but this mm. is perfect. Because I have a trophy for the winner has a little magician on it. Yes, <laughs> for whoever wins. They didn't have one with a boy doing push ups. <laughs> right, the trophy could be. It's an all expense paid cruise with her grandmother. Uh, no thanks. Oh. Uh. You know, I've been in the house five minutes. You haven't even offered me so much as a pitcher of martinis. Pitcher? <laughs> Damn. Uh, no, no. Jack dumped me. Oh. He says he wants to start a clean slate on his 80th birthday. <laughs> well, anyway. I know what you're up to. You're not taking Lindsay. Oh. Well, pretty soon Lindsay will be old enough to make that decision for herself. Why are you trying to take Lindsay? Buster. My God, when he was three years old, you still had him on a leash. <laughs> He's I still on the one. I murder out of that one. Well. <laughs> oh, ahead of ourselves. It's a competition. And I could be a judge. It's never too early to get Buster used to being in front of a judge. Oh. <laughs> That was so ominous. What the hell? Seeing the bailiff lead their son into the this. courtroom. This is the guy who used to ring me out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember. You used to catch him when he'd run. Actually, I'm Chuck's son. No. Oh. And that's his son. How? So cute. I'm sure every parent is proud of their. <laughs> Why don't I just change the point of the bench here? Yeah. Uh, is there anybody else you'd like to say hello to? <laughs> At least I came to your trial. Ooh, well, mine, you damn. You were busy juicing a woman you probably pushed out. Careful. Oh. You look different. I'm growing dreads, mother. Dreads right out of my head. What dreads? It's because you have an African-American <laughs> left hand, all of a sudden you're Ray Charles. <laughs> damn. Michael, what are you doing here? You kidding me? I want to see our legal team in action. I mean, we're certainly spending a fortune on them. Oh, I'm intrigued by these five guys. So where is this legal team we're spending all our money on? 
And uh, please tell me that it is not Barry. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just here as a fan. And a fan. G-Man. Shouldn't you be working on the wall? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a step back. I wanna let my son flap his wings a little bit. Mm. God, the other swing at you. <laughs> no, that, that's not what he did. George Michael fired you. Yeah. That is what he did. <laughs> but it was only after killing, which is but what it, led it to this. Like we're gonna need it in about a month. You're fired. Which, because of the merger, he technically had the right to do. But that was a long ass, so like, think, look back at, like, last episode or two. My God. Although clear might have been an Great overstatement. Great move, get rid of your dad. Can't let fear run a business. How do you mean fear? No. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you're from the Chinese and all of a sudden you turn into a big crybaby. The Chinese sent my dad a severed human foot? Yeah. yeah. Although they call it a mum. Mum's the word for severed. No, he's so dumb. And it works. <laughs> I mean, seriously, call me after that because I'd be curious to see how, how you'd handle it. Well, Jehovah yeah. needs so much help. Parenting is really hard. Mine's chained to a bench, so in that sense, he's an overachiever. <laughs> I'll rise. The Superior Court of Orange County. There's their lawyers. Not quite yet, Your Honor. Someone care to explain to me why there's no one to represent your client? No, no, no. The guilty guys are here. Oh, okay, good. Here. They're actually here. I'll rise for the guilty guys. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Fruits of their very expensive preparation on full display. It was wow. for anyone not to get caught up in the pageantry. Uh, very. <laughs> Your Honor, in the case of the state of California versus... Oh, God, they're going to say guilty. I'd like to enter a plea of guilt. Wow. Okay, Ms. Correa, that a judge has the, I want to say, privilege. Sorry, did, did, did you say... Is that why they're called they the guilty guys? They just say everyone's guilty? That's why they never lose? Well, that's a first. You didn't want to plead guilty? Oh my god, all idiots. I would hire these guys because they get the best sentences. You're saying these guys can't Idiots, idiots, idiots. Why would you want to pay them? I don't think they've ever been on a case that long. Which was the same problem the producers of the Netflix series had. Why it was canceled before the end of the movie. That makes sense. Guilty. Oh, no. <laughs> Barry. Okay, okay, let me take care of this. Can I just ask? A pivotal moment would also prove anticlimactic. Hey, yeah, we're out. We, we just can't, can't, can't defend their son. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're ridiculous. Well, except for what they're going to charge us for the phone call. They've never technically won a case, but they've never lost a plea. <laughs> of course, the bad news is Lottie is pushing me. She has never lost a case. Well, just once. But then her ex was the opposing counsel. Well, that's oh. our answer. We gotta get, get her ex. There you go. Oh, he's retired. Who? Which is too bad because she is was it so the crazy. one the guy Lucille's dating? Lottie cower like that before. Of course, she was called Lottie Rattler back then. Yeah. Rattler. Yeah. What's her ex? Yeah, but I knew it. Justin. No, no, she means Lottie's ex. Justin Rattler, the guy you're dating. No. <laughs> I mean, he's what are the chances? But uh, I have to get him on this case. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's gonna do it for free. I'll let him move in with me. That's what he wants. Oh. oh you're so. I, you don't want to be leaving your mother. We have to get our son off, and in three weeks, mm -hmm. a mistrial is the only thing in our favor. Yeah. So that's my choice between my wife. And my son, basically, Isn't that the worst, especially when you're <laughs> checking into hell. Here's my advice always say that he's your wife because they never have the balls to check. Oh, okay, context again, aren't I? Yeah, makeup, not backup person, and then go on to brag that for four years she blew three men five times a day, and now we wow. have to call before the board for the third time. Oh, why don't you just move out? It's not that easy. Remember when your dad lived with you? Oh, yeah. yeah, not easy. Crazy vote out thing, or he he forgot how voting works. He voted <laughs> In fact, it was a deep. Oh, going through this again. Oh God. Believing he was voting out a third roommate, only to discover that the three turned. We've seen this flashback so many fucking times. I swear to God. The wall. 
You're still building the wall? I thought that's why you fired your dad. Yeah, well, that was before I realized there was something else. Yeah, the foot. George Michael, you can't do that. Building that wall is going to affect real people. Maybe I don't have the luxury of worrying about them. Uh, you do. What about their families? I really got to know yeah. some of those people when I was working in that border town, acting like I was getting to know those people. <laughs> you sound just like a sleep self-aware Aunt Lindsay. Well, you sound just like a minimally woke Uncle Michael. Ooh. Look, I'm not going to go into this because I don't want you getting... We're building the wall. Fine. Abandon your morals. Yeah, that's ridiculous, Michael. George Michael. Dumb guilt at firing your father because of his dumb investment. Well, it's not Ooh. dumb. He's the only person who ever believed in this company. Which isn't real. Yeah. So that makes it dumb. Exactly. <laughs> Who's guilty of fraud? But hey, maybe you can get those dumb attorneys from that short Netflix show that's not on the air anymore. <laughs> After revealing to him that she now knew about his and relationship, about relationship with Blondie Dottie. Dottie. Duh. 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 I knew you'd find I'm an overbearing mother, but I will not let this DA take my job. I think you're a very caring mother. In fact, really? I'll go one step further. I think, well, maybe like babies but even that's weird because who likes babies <laughs> especially in the early years i know babies are adorable it's weird you don't have to tell them about us i mean i'm old enough to be your mother <laughs> right that's why i chose the word weird yeah <laughs> but maybe that's why I've... then i'm in i will be your lawyer let her see what i can do when i'm with a woman who totally accepts watch him be an awful lawyer but precious weeks had passed before Michael That's had even point. heard of They're the plan. Uh, Cheat the system shortcuts that never work. Yeah, as always. Postponing the trial. What's blind me about hiring Dottie's ex-husband for some breakout and call from his trial? It's... Besides, it gives us time to save the buy-off the next DNA. Okay, I have to think. Yeah, not slimy at all. Too much at stake to not use a real lawyer. If not if he's unprepared. You need someone who's who's got a background. I need... Like Captain Hook's lawyer. <laughs> with your case. Uh, Ooh. No, I don't think that. Guy to do. My mother was okay. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> and that was the real payment. Just to see a reaction to a boom operator standing on her bed it was worth it. But <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe. I can't believe this. I mean, Michael, you're the one who said he talked to Lucille too after I pushed her down. Why do I feel like they have someone that's not actually Michael there? That it's like a look-alike because they couldn't film with him, so he's just did the audio. No. After she disappeared on what he believed. Where is Lucille? Oh, we're gonna find out this episode next. I all the phone calls from Lucille too. They sound exactly the same. Uh, I guess I erased some. Yeah, my The just campaign calls. That's ridiculous. Yes, that could work. So we have no idea if Lucille's. Oh, Sarah's even alive. George Michael realized he needed to create a distraction. So he went to the most easily distracted person. <laughs> I think maybe we just cancel the event and uh, just do it for the investors. Cancel the event? No, no Job loves an event. Press and TV cameras out there and have this giant audience. For what? Just, just to look at a wall? Oh, God, no. Why would you say those words? I think we're gonna put on a goddamn show. A magic show. From me. Yep. <laughs> okay. We make it. Also think it's a great opportunity to lure. Job knew he couldn't say that it could lure Tony one hiding <laughs> while simultaneously yeah. allowing the hero. Night. <laughs> Job would leave the office three minutes later. That, that sounds about right. Three minutes. He wanted me to pre tie his tie. To review their legal strategy. He's not here. He ran off, flipping out. Oh. What if she flipped Lottie? You should be flipping out. Oh, I'm sure she will. It, it's just uh, pre trial jitters. He Is that it? Than pre -trial jitters. Oh, God. It's choking me. He looks so much better with the shoulder hair. I just wasted an hour and a half working on an opening joke until I realized that it's from Fast and Furious. It doesn't really <laughs> work unless you're in a Camaro. Why oh, you okay. About a joke? You just do you hear what the opening statement the prosecution is going to give? I thought the prosecution <laughs> went first and then the defense. Yeah, Sorry, he's I not. Forgot, is know, he like a TV lawyer? 
Has he ever done a case besides the one? You're anxious. You're the mother of the defendant, everybody's favorite. Oh. I'm going to be the one everyone sees. The moment she sees you walk into that courtroom, the joke's going to be on her. Yeah, that's why I wanted to tell the joke first. Come oh, God, he's stupid. Hey. What are you doing? He's Nobody the lawyer. Swimming out there. Okay, <laughs> you really need to calm down, but I'm worried about my son. Okay, if you don't want to be my mother, then maybe stop referring to me as your son. How about that? Oh. Talking about Buster. Uh, yes, you're always he's about Buster. Buster this, Buster that. How are you going to represent Buster today? Well, you know what? Ah. Something is wrong with this man. No, say it. I hate him. I hope he loses. Oh. I'm going to my fort. Fort? Even this would provide no solace for Dusty. Hey, locals only broke down. Oh. The non to the time. I know. She made me wear it. <laughs> yeah. There's some big rocks that you could kill someone. Well, that got the jitters out of me. What do you think about doing that with Dusty? What? How can you? I just know how you can be. There was a time right after Joe was. Born. What are they? What is he asking her to do? Cold. Contemptuous, rather. You remember that? Well, only because it's still going on. <laughs> Maybe I pulled away back home to sleep in his own bed, which is fine. I, I want his head in his work. Uh, that mm. doesn't necessarily mean yours has to take the night off. Mm, yeah. But we've got to do something to get his confidence in that courtroom, and I am willing. Bedroom confidence might build to regular confidence. Now you know how I felt for all those years, George. <laughs> But even Damn. though Lucille felt good about making George feel bad, <laughs> she arrived at the home she felt Dusty had been driven back to by her lack of physical affection. Oh, is it his parents' home? Yes. Although it was considerably <laughs> less modest it's than she had imagined. Huge. I'm sorry. I thought this was where Dustin Radler lived. Mr. Radler's in his bedroom. I'll have to announce it. Announce? Carla, announce. Please. No, no. I, I... Ms. Blues, Lucille Blues. Yeah, it's here for a casual drop by. Why is this the uh, first time hearing about it? Oh my. Sorry, I didn't. What was the casual drop by? Mrs. Blues was here for a CDB, and Carla didn't know about it. Just likely because it wasn't made into <laughs> That's fine. This is wild. Sure split second floor staff. I'm sorry. Second I floor. You were this is no, I didn't insane. Know. Second floor staff. Mrs. Salazar was our pantry captain for 15 years. Yes, back when. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> This is like rich, rich. No, you, you, I'm just here to see Dusty, uh, Mr. Radler. All right, you but, better stay close to Dusty. On the first floor? What does he now think the Salazars control everything? <laughs> the first floor used to mean something. <laughs> this is wild. Jean? Lucille could tell there was what? tension among her boyfriend's staff, and she felt compelled to say, How rich is this Santo boy? Yeah. Staff, she also said, I'm going to f him. Yeah. Oh, ap apologies. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought she said something about the staff. Uh -huh. Maybe uses her mathematical ingenuity to rig an election. Uh. Dad said no talking. My daughter, Annette. Damn. You guys can't get her, her out of her place that she took kick someone else out of? I voted myself out too, okay? Because I can't take it anymore. You've taken all the fun out of the worst part of life. <laughs> <laughs> but while packing well. up, maybe he comes across something of Stan Sitwell's from before she oh. moved in. What's this? Where? Oh. Billy disappeared. They all have empty homes. Ocean view available. Yep. Time to move. Good for her. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun, you guys. Um, we have problems with the lawyer and everything, and Dusty needs to be confided and boosted up so he can be a lawyer now because his ex-wife is the DA. So complicated. And he seems a little crazy, but he's also extremely wealthy, which really turned me on there. Not gonna be, the, not gonna lie. He was, he's like a good deal for sure. 
I was like, okay, that that actor, he's a he's hot, hot old man. Um, but like him, the money really went like, whoa, he's even hotter now. <laughs> he's got different levels of staff. What the fuck? Crazy. And that house is beautiful. Oh. And then, yeah, I still don't get why we don't have Lindsay at all. Like, why has she not appeared this entire season almost? We're going to have two episodes left in the entire series. And she's still in the intro, so... It's weird. Does something happen personally? Let me know. Um, yeah, and we still don't know about Lucille, too. Where is she? What happened to her? Is she dead? Is she alive? We have no idea. We have no clues, no hints. Everything's turned out to be wrong, so I have no, no idea. I guess hopefully we'll find out in the next few episodes. The last two... Alright, thank you guys so much for watching with me. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to check out Patreon again. Link down below in the description box. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.